I'm back. Most of you are probably wondering where I've been, what's going on with the truck, what is going on. Well, I uh, messed up. We had an unfortunate situation with the S10. And if you watched my last video, Don't Cheap Out, well, I look like a complete idiot because I cheaped out on something that I shouldn't have cheaped out on. And it turned around and bit me directly in the backside. Lessons learned. We all try to cheap out. We all try to save some money sometimes because, you know, not everybody has thousands and thousands and hundreds of dollars to throw at projects and stuff. They want to try to save a little money so they can have a little money elsewhere. And sometimes you buy stuff that isn't of quality thinking that it's going to work and it doesn't. And this situation has cost me an engine. The 5.3 will not be going back in the S10. Unfortunately, I've been holding off on this until the situation was 100% solved. And as of today, the situation is resolved and we have a replacement for the 5.3. And I'm excited to tell you about it. But first, let me tell you exactly what happened. So I was finishing up the whole engine build with the 5.3 getting ready to put it back in the truck. When I was torquing my head down with some eBay bolts or studs, and you could probably imagine what happened. It broke and I can't get it out. And to be honest with you, I haven't really tried. Haven't really had the motivation to do it. Um, it really sucks because this was a really good engine and it was going to run fantastic. And I was really wanting to show you guys what a 5.3 was going to be capable of doing. And I was just kind of curious myself. But that brings me to the point where I tell you guys the replacement. And I'm excited. You guys should be excited if you follow me. Let's go look at it. And mind you, it just came from the junkyard. I just got back five minutes ago and I'm excited to tell you guys about it. I wanted to wait until I had possession of the engine before I, you know, formally announce what's going down. Because uh, my luck pans out sometimes. It's, oh, well, yeah, we've got this engine. I'll take it. Oh, somebody else got it. Uh, my luck never works the way it's supposed to. But this time we did get lucky and it worked out for us. So let's check it out. So as you can see here, we have the replacement LS engine for old LS Blue. Nice, dirty, and grimy, fresh from the junkyard, just the way we like them. It's got a set of 317 heads on it. Oh, that's weird. I didn't think 5.3 came, came with those. Just in case you didn't believe me. As you can obviously tell, that's not a 5.3. We're 6.0 swapping the S10. <laughs> Finally. I've been wanting to do this for literally years. And what better chance to do it then when that 5.3 goes down and I have to have a new engine, find one, toss her in there. I've said in the past LS Blue 2.0, but I think LS Blue 6.0 has a good ring to it. New power plant right here. Definitely needs a good cleaning. Oh four, six oh, out of a 2500. This thing's gonna run good. So what does that mean for the 5.3? Well, nothing. It means it's scrap iron. Uh, it's for sale. I'm sure somebody can get the bolt out. I'm not an expert machinist or anything. So somebody else can probably get it out. Or this. It's down in there about, I don't know, three and a half inches. It's in there pretty good. I'm not an expert on extracting bolts. So I don't want to mess with it. I just said... Screw it, I'll put a different engine in it. I'll put a big one in it. And that's what we're doing. But I've got the engine completely apart already, unfortunately. All the work that I put in to get the engine together um, means nothing. The crank freshly polished, ready to go in something. The heads, they're going back on the 6.0. And um, yeah, this, this blows. It happens. Stuff happens. Here's the pistons. Well, 
What do you do? You move on. You pick up. You move on. I mean, the worst part of this is I ruined a brand new set of small bore BTR head gaskets. I mean, they they look fine, but they've already been torqued. I was on the last three bolts, around 65 foot pounds, when the head stud snapped. What do you do? You move on. All right, guys. I feel like a hypocrite and an idiot. So my last video, I said, don't cheap out on cheap stuff. What did Dr. Hayfield do? He cheaped out on something that he shouldn't have cheaped out on. Now, mind you, I did, do, I bought these well before that video was made. I really thought it would be okay, but evidently not. And it's a catastrophic issue too. So let me show you. We have, we have a broken head stud. Yep. In this hole here, I'm gonna try and remove it. I mean, it's down in there, as you can see, pretty that gum far. This is not gonna be fun. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try. If I can't get it, I can, I'll can. i get somebody who can. And if not, we'll see what happens. So as you can obviously see, didn't get the stud out. Did mess with it actually for a little while, but I still makes me mad. That's going to be all for this video. Make sure you guys stick around for the next couple episodes because it's going to be some live action going on. And fun fact, whenever I picked that engine up, the guy that was in line behind me as I was painting for that engine was the actual full-blown Yee Yee Turtle Man. So that's kind of random. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe. Bullshit.